guys, welcome to Tammy Time. I am going to do some experimenting on a couple things and I'm going to make some bows. So, first experiment, your die cuts, your die kit, your die, yeah, your die cut. I don't remember the, the person, no, I think it was just in a, in a hack that I had seen it. So I'm trying to, what I'm doing is putting my, what, some of my hardest uh, dies, such as these, they get all intricate and then they break and the butterflies and the snowflakes and, you know, things like that. They just, they don't come out all the way and you have to punch them all out and, and then it's, and then it breaks. So a dryer sheet. Now I did try a dryer sheet in a piece of paper and this is what I got from a butterfly. So now I'm putting the, a new dryer sheet in. One that has not been used with the die cut going through, it is supposed to sharpen, or not sharpen, but put something on it to like an oil texture of some sort. So we did that with that. Now let's get a piece of paper, cut that baby out. And I don't like to waste paper, so I try to get it as close as I can. And I know this thing sits, but I'm not, I feel like something's under it. No, it's just, it just wants to suction. That's okay, it just did. Oh, see what I'm doing? I'm sorry. See what I'm doing? I've got my crafts right here. Right here. I could be watching TV and crafting and... I don't hardly turn the TV on, except at night it comes on when my husband gets home once in a while. Alrighty, let's see. I still did not get that out. That's still not coming. Ladies, if you have these dies, what do you do? They don't come out. They don't cut all the way, even if I was to you know, see the little thing. Now I've got to go myself and and figure out what the holes are that I've got to punch out. Not fun. Not fun at all. I may save that one, but it did not leave any in the little thingies like it's supposed to. That is a plus. So let's do one of my faves that I wanted to do in order, and I couldn't. Once I got it, I was dying to try it, and phew, like I've made three of them, and every one of them has been it's been a disaster. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. Yep. <coughs> Until the rain. No COVID. I'm done with that. Besides, I stay home. Cobalt is doing well in quarantine. I don't get out much. My husband's been doing the picking up things here and there. And, uh, oh yeah, I had him get some kind of craft, something I needed the other day. Oh, foam tape and, and glue dots. And I had him go to Walmart for that. And he said there was hardly any crafts on the shelf he's like i don't know why they don't have any on the shelf i they're never like that well honey you got to remember kids are out of school people are locked down in quarantine and adults want to find something for the kids to do so they're not going stir crazy my kids grew up in the woods so they could have went outside we did a lot of crafts. We did do a lot. Sorry about shaking the table. I hope I'm not making you think that I'm sick here or something. I'm shaking so much. Just a small coffee table. <laughs> or not a coffee table, but a co yeah. TV tray. Wow. Oh, come on. Really? Let's check it out. Didn't all come up. See, 
I don't quite. It aggravates me to the core. It aggravates me. You spend that money to get these dies, and then they don't work. And it just seems quite wrong. So I really watch which ones I send. How does that happen? Or which ones I order. Anymore, no intricate things. But if you got some that you've got intricate things and and uh you need to get rid of them. No. Or I'd like to swap. I would love to do that. I am kind of new to paper crafting. I, I mean, I am not, but I am when it comes to crafting, uh, like on online, like YouTube. I'm not anywhere with that. Let's see, one thing about that whole thingy, it doesn't get stuck in the holes anymore because it was on the paper, but I left it here. So I could see where the holes are. <laughs> But it is coming up. Not a problem. It is beautiful. I don't think I want those to come off. Those are kind of cool. And... Yes, guys. My first full hot air balloon. That is the first time I ever did even all the little squiggly little lines down here. Hope there's one that didn't make it out. But you know what? I don't want to touch it. There's a couple things that didn't make it out, but I don't want to touch them. Oh. Yeah, I can't. Uh -uh. Yeah, we did get most of it. it. We'll get these at the top here too, but I think I'm going to kind of leave them there because it kind of looks cool. There we go, though. I want to try this butterfly one again. Oh, well, look it. That's what we were supposed to not have. I think I have something to cope with this. I'm hoping it's in here. Where's my balloon? Put it up here. Is that it? As a matter of fact, that was it. We put it up there and I'll take my little thingy and maybe just maybe or not. It's not working. It's not working. Where could we hear then? takes a lot of time to make things like this. People don't understand. You just think you get to just pop it right out. Well, that hot air balloon is as good as it's going to get with me. That is better than what I had did. But that dryer sheet thing, I don't believe it works. I mean, it might help. It might help. I'm going to try this butterfly again. See if I can do this butterfly. Kind of definitely makes sense. Because of the oils or the whatever, the softening that's on the dryer sheet. And it 
Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know. this in maybe that'll help okay let's see paper I had a piece of paper let's see does this one work no but you know what it's gonna have to work if it doesn't it's okay Is that positioned on to your little plate put another one on top and the physics will tell you which way to turn by just poking it in there and the handle will turn the right direction that is supposed to be turned a lot of pressure going through here I thought of using the physics as a presser let's see how this turned out I didn't even cut it all the way. Like I said, these just are so, these are so disappointing. I spend all this money to have this. And it just doesn't work. I mean, I ran it through over and over. I ain't messing with it. I'm not messing with it. Let me see something. The little, little thingies in the bottom here that they said that that person or video whatever it was that said that it would all come out well mine didn't it didn't work the hack was a but I am going to make one of these this is vellum I really don't know what it's used for I just know the name of it Oops, looks like I've got to cut it down. This hot air balloon is something that I've always wanted to do. It's on my bucket list. I have a bucket list. I really don't know what I have. But it's on my bucket list. So, my base. One day. Okay, guys. Let's try this baby again. do it a couple times so today's Friday the last three or four Fridays my husband's brought me home flowers so we'll see if he remembers he used to bring me a rose every Friday okay I don't even know if it cuts this stuff well obviously it does but it doesn't Probably should have used this stuff for something else, huh? Because it is a book. Oh my goodness. I don't get it. Crafters out there, I need your help. How do you get your your craft eyes to, to come out? How do you get them to come out perfectly? I mean, that's gorgeous. I don't even need to have the other little thingies out, but... And with this here, I can sit and bend it and do all that kind of stuff, and that stuff will fall out. Maybe. If it's punched. And it's not. So. <laughs> but probably easy enough to go back and figure out how, right there. Lay that baby down and do her again. I tell you that was a flop yeah right into my lap <laughs> it 
there's a blue. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Man, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Maybe I need to eat something. I don't know. Or I need medicated. Don't know. Probably. So, now that I did that, I'll mess that up. Throw that all over here. Now, I'm going to show you how to make these bows. I got a couple different bows. That we can make. Let's see one. One. I don't know why you could make these with butterflies, too. Two. Come on. It's been a while since I did a live or did a video, so bear with me, guys. There's two. And need to get them the ratings back up. I'm getting I'm going down and I don't like that. People aren't seeing my videos, so they're like, ah, oh, she must not be doing them anymore. Well, no, I am. I've just been really super hectic in my head. If that makes any sense to anybody, please let me know because it really don't make much sense to me. <laughs> I need a gr another green. There we go. I'm telling you here. I like these cupcake things. I got them at the Dollar General. And I think they were only a dollar, so I'm cool with that. How many different greens is there? Oh, I got them. Just piled them in differently. There's those, and I know that I have a couple small ones. They're different colors. I don't know what those are, but they're brown. So. Okay. some information in that. Alright, let's get this dumped over. Now, let's put this over here. bling. There's bling on the couch. Alrighty. Oh, it's no big. Okay, guys. Try to do this quicker. I've got some washi tape. I don't really need a really big piece of it. I will get some other washi that'll match some of that. And you can use Crepe paper, you can use anything for the middle part of the bow. I've got some bling over there that I might possibly use. A couple of those. Might as well get a couple of these. I forget what I need them for now. <laughs> All right, oops. Now my foot is falling asleep. Okay, let's see. I already did this one. So you got your cupcake liners. You grab two, which I'll grab two of the same color. And you're gonna take one and you're going to just smash it down. Crease it, whatever you can do. Whatever you got, you can just crease it over. Make it lay flat. Okay, got that. Do that to the other side. Another one. Okay, make sure that it's even. And it can always be trimmed, but 
You may like it when it gets done and then you start trimming and you mess up and you trim one side shorter than the other and you keep trimming and keep trimming. Yeah, been there, done that. Okay, these big ones. We're going to go, I think it was four times. We'll count. Just take a corner. One, two, yes, four, three, or two, three, miss four. Flat again. Okay, I'm going to do this other one. One. Two. And your cupcake holders also have these little lines that you can go by. Three and four. Okay, I'm going to grab my scissors, and I'm just going to cut the very, 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 very tip off. That's it. That's it. Just the tip. Not too much. The tip. Okay. Now I'm going to get my glue gun here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. So it'll stay shut. There we go. Do this other one. All right. Probably should have did one of these earlier so it would stay. Let's see. Okay, we're going to overlap these. And we're going to glue it down. Okay. Okay. Wow, that one looks kind of big. I hope I did this one right. Okay, you're overlapping that. Now you're going to get your piece of washi, which I'm going to use this yellow, the orange. And you're going to put it right over the top of that. We'll get a piece of, a piece of, we'll get some glue right here and just put a little dot there to kind of make sure it gets adhered to the paper. And bring it around. Now that bow is pretty lopsided. <laughs> yes, it is. It needs another washi here. It just has a bigger middle. Here, we're gonna make it. We're gonna, like, uh, I don't know. MacGyver it. Whew! I hear you out there, dog. We have a neighbor dog that comes and visits. He's not going to be on video. I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to cut it off because I don't want it too long. I'm going to do the other side. I know he says I can hear you in there. Okay, this side, I'd have done a little bit more because I messed it up. But that doesn't look too bad, does it? And I'm thinking, this is my first one, what I'm going to do. So I'm thinking it can just go like this. And make little fringy. Fringy fringes. Okay, and just went in a little bit with the crotch of your scissor right in there. Just enough so you can just kind of get a little fluffy look. And we can put a bling on there.
ready to go. There's that one. That one's the big one. Big ones. You also take two. We're going to do it the same way. Fold them in half. This is just three. One, two, and three. Always lining them up. Okay. Next, to number one. Do the same thing as we did to number one there. And one. Two. I think it made here. One. Two. There we go. And three. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that. Just to hold it down. I thought there was enough glue there, but it's not even going to let me do it. So. Do another more dot. Not where I wanted it. Oh, isn't that crazy when you do stuff like that? All right. So I got it. There we go. Okay. All right. So you got your two little little pieces. You're gonna also you're gonna very 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 tiny tip you're gonna cut because you want it to square off. Okay, and you're gonna glue those together. They're overlapping just a little bit. washi tape and we're going to put right over the top. These almost look like little brooms. Didn't mean for to go that far around, but that's okay. That is an adorable little bow. So adorable. It just needs a little bling in it and it's like hopping ready. Very good. Very good. I made a 30 minute video on making die cuts and paper cut, paper, die cuts and cupcake holders, holder bows. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. If you like what you've seen, please leave a comment. And uh, if you're new to my channel, leave a comment below and let me know where you're from i like to get to know my subscribers and there is a a birthday giveaway challenge if you go to that video and and watch every bit of it and uh decide to do it please let me know because i am excited i'm actually deciding if i should go all the way till july 1st which was my father's birthday and that way i the whole month of june i'm celebrating my birthday and I just, I like that. Well, celebrating my husband, mine and my husband's birthday. But, because <laughs> he don't like birthdays, so I try to leave him out. I don't when it comes to presents. Actually, I'm going to buy him a battery for his motorcycle. I think he's going to buy me a battery for my four-wheeler. So we'll be even. But anyhow, I will leave anything down below that you need. Uh... I'll leave you my email, so if you decide you want to go and be in the the uh, giveaway, please let me know. And I know I did not show all of the stuff that I'm giving in the giveaway, because birthdays are about surprises and about gifts that you don't know. So, just have fun, enjoy what you do, and if you decide to make a Memdex card for me and send me one of the favorite things that you like or other ideas, I will be blessed and blessed. And if you would like to be a swap partner with something, I would love to. I am learning and I'm having so much fun. Thank you all for joining me. Go out and do something that you enjoy doing. Bye.